uh, we're at Margaret uh, Ganevo's house and we're inspecting her garden today. She's going to give us a tour. This is a sweet bay magnolia. They are, are quite a bit smaller than the southern magnolia and they do like the wet. And it has, uh, it's finished blooming now, um, but it has the same magnolia type blooms as the other ones, the same fragrance, they're just smaller. And if you come over here, here's a uh, swamp chestnut oak. See how different this trunk is? It's sort of an ashy white. And uh, these leaves are just so huge and so different from other kinds of, uh, we can see them better from the other side, but you know, they're just entire with just scalped edges. Um, it's really different from other kinds of oak. This is uh, river birch. Oh yeah. This, uh, I love to peel this bark. <laughs> so, so does my, my wife. She, um, she peels it too. Petulia nigra, and you know, it, it's nice. They, a lot of times will be um, multi trunk like this, or they can be a single trunk. And uh, they love water. If, if you don't give them enough water, they'll, the leaves turn yellow and uh, start falling. You go, oh yeah, it needs water. <laughs> this is a willow oak. See what a difference the trunk is? Yeah. So much different from the other one. And this is the one with uh, the, the long, narrow, shiny leaves that look like willows. And over here we've got a little hip hawthorn. The, it's its uh, name is Cratigus spatulata. I don't know if you can see this, but they're like little spatulas, the foliage. And okay. it has the same white flowers that a as a parsley hawthorn. It has a growing ha uh, uh, habit, kind of like a yopon or, or something. Yeah, and then... Um, Multiple I mean, trunks. Then the, the, par the bark peels like, um, like the uh, parsley hawthorn does, and you get this... Well, let, let me see if we get a good example. You get this orange inner bark. Yeah, if you can come over here. It just peels to this lovely orange bark. There, there we got you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Such a nice substitute. You know, people like the, um, they call it the lace bark elm or the Chinese elm, but uh, this has pretty bark too. So, you know, if you don't want to have the invasive, you could get this. And I'm going to show you another uh, hawthorn that has an even lacier bark. So let's go over here. <laughs> you lead. Here's a mayhaw. I haven't seen any berries. Does it, um, does they, it grow as an understory? Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, they like, um, they like to be understory. And you know, this one again has um, different kinds of leaves and all these hawthorns, they like it wet. So they're real happy in my little bird pond. Go ahead. This is a rusty black haw viburnum. Uh, in early spring, about March, they have huge three inch clusters of white flowers. Hmm. And they get uh, sort of, they get clusters of little blue back, blue black berries. And then it's going to turn a nice red in fall. Beautiful, beautiful or... sh shiny leaves. Yeah, aren't they nice and shiny? Okay, this is my favorite over here. This oh, is called Tai Tai or Leatherwood, and it it's you know like May 30th, so it's starting to bloom, and you probably can see the insects are just loving it. But it uh, it's also called Leatherwood. The leaves are real shiny, also. Um, and then these, um, these blooms, it's going to form seeds and they're, they turn like ivory or rust color and just stay on the bush. It's so pretty. And then about half the leaves turn red oh, wow. in the fall. So yeah, it's just gorgeous all, 
uh, all the time. This is sort of a, a sweet smelling, it's a honey plant. And it can grow in standing water, it loves water. So, so this is a good place for it, my yard's real wet. And oh, uh, this is one of your favorites. It's got a button bush. Yeah. And uh, it's just started blooming too. Um, you can probably, well, Rush, you can probably smell the fragrance. Oh, I can see the bees. Yeah, the bees like it oh, and yeah. the butterflies. Wonderful. Yeah, there was two uh, swallowtails chasing each other around yesterday, tiger swallowtails. Okay, guys, now's the time. Oh, there's a, a, uh, debut. A, a hummingbird moth. Where? Oh, I've never seen such a thing. Can you get a good picture of it? I don't know. Oh, wow. I've seen them in the hill country. I've heard of them, but I've never seen it. Yeah, there he is. Fantastic. Yeah, if you just look at him quickly, you think it's a hummingbird. Yeah. He's got white stripes on his back. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That button bushes seem to have a lot of nectar. And they just bloom this one time of the year. Huh. Then uh, in the fall, they the, these little balls will ripen into little brown nutlets. Do the birds go after those yeah, then? Yeah, the birds like, about 25 species of birds like them, especially ducks, because this can grow in standing water also. You want to come over here? This is a, a green hawthorn. If you can focus on the bark, see how nice and speckled with orange that is? I think, you know, that is... Uh, a nice uh, replacement for that lace bark elm. I think it looks even better, but it, it's a and the lace bark is an invasive. Yeah, the the lace bark or Chinese elm is invasive, and you know here you can have the same kind of bark. And then underneath here, I've got a ground cover of wood fern. Yeah, these can take the wood fern is pretty tough. It can take a little shade, and uh, if it doesn't get any water or in too much sun, well, it it just you know it goes dormant and turns brown and when we get you know if we have a drought or something when we do get water again well it'll green back up and if you just turn this way it'll stop blooming but this is the false indigo or indigo bush amorpha and um, it had spikes of purple blooms with with uh, orange anthers really pretty and then you know it's sort of tropical looking mm -hmm. and it also likes the water another common name is uh, river locust now uh, we're back on the other side you can see I think you can see the leaves better of um, of this oak beautiful leaves <laughs> Quercus yeah. michoei it's the swamp chestnut oak and it does turn red in the fall but just look at look how huge those leaves are yeah. and so different from other oaks, and you can kind of see the, the pale bark back there. And we got one more hawthorn. This is, um, <laughs> I forgot the name. <laughs> this is Little Hip Hawthorn, and it has a, a big berry set. It, it, they'll, uh, they'll just be in, the, they dangle and they're in little clusters. And, um, it's called little hip because they sort of look like rose hips, but oh. they'll be here all winter long. It's just really pretty. Well, thank you, Margaret. Appreciate you inviting us to look at your garden. <laughs> Come again.